You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. I'm here with M. H. Van Curen, and we're going to talk about his new book called Trash, A Love Story. So, let me give you back your book, and then if you'd tell us first a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, my name is M. H. Van Curen. Uh, I live in Billings, Montana with my wife and sons. I've lived here since 2006, and I uh, left a career in the uh, public assembly facility business, con managing convention centers and arenas, to uh, become a stay-at-home dad and uh, start writing novels like I'd always dreamed to. And uh, had the opportunity to do that uh, when my wife had the idea for a uh, business that she started and was able to come here to Billings, uh, come back to where family was, and, uh, and start writing like I'd always wanted to. Well, that's wonderful. That's a good story <laughs> right there. Well, um, tell us then about your book. Okay. Tell us about Trash. Where did that come from? A love story. Trash, a love story, uh, came about uh, after a couple of years ago when I saw a viral TED talk, or a TEDx talk actually, from a Dutch teenager who had an idea for cleaning ocean the cleaning the ocean, uh, all the plastic pollution that's that's out there, especially in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is in the North Pacific Ocean, a huge area bigger than the state of Texas, just filled with trash that swirls around in the out there. And he had this idea for a, a technology of big uh, big booms that would lie on the surface and just corral the trash into into a collection point. That TED Talk went viral. I, I saw it and thought, that's an interesting idea. It's an interesting place to uh, perhaps put a character in a book that uh, might work out there and, and uh, ex experience what it would be like to be out there and, and part of that program to clean up the ocean. So that's where it came from. That's where, where I started from. My research led me to the entire issue of, of pl plastic pollution. And, uh, and realized it was much more than just the pl plastic that's floating out there, but also the, the, the sources of the plastic, which is us here on land. And so that led me to uh, place a character on land, and, and that sort of gave the idea of a, a love story, a character out there uh, doing that work, and a character on land uh, approaching the issue from the other side. Well, that sounds so interesting. So um, who? Who would enjoy this? What's your audience? Uh, my audience, well, it's almost anybody. Uh, it's 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 uh, not necessarily a children's book. It's it's for uh, for not mature readers, but but any any adult or uh, even a, a teen reader. Um, it's uh, it's. I w even though it's called a, a love story, I wouldn't say it's a romance. So romance off romance readers aren't going to necessarily <laughs> find it the the book of of their dreams. But uh, <laughs> uh, uh, really, I, I wrote it for anybody. And like any of my other books, I I really wrote it for myself. I I uh, I write the books that I would really want to read, and and so. Oh, that's so interesting. What about your other books? Do you um, have them to show us? I do. I have uh, I have four other titles. Um, my first book was called Rhubarb, and it is a uh, a book I had in my head for a long time before I, I, uh, I started writing. And it is the story of a traveling salesman here in Montana who discovers that uh, aliens have been coming to a truck stop for the rhubarb pie, <laughs> and and the adventures that ensue from that. That's my daughter's favorite <laughs> of your books. That was a, a lot of fun to write and my father was a traveling salesman when we lived here in Montana and uh, and so a lot of the ideas and stories of going around Montana and the, 
the strange things that might happen out there on the road came from his experience, long experience as a, as a traveling salesman here in Montana. Uh, one of my other books is called Nat, and it is a, uh, it's a story of a ex-mercenary turned paparazzo out in Southern California who discovers that something very strange is going on with the actors uh, who used to be on a Disney Channel style <laughs> children's show that he, that he used to watch with his daughter when, when she was younger. So, so there's that book. That's a wonderful introduction to that. And then I have uh, a, the first two books of a series. Uh, I call it The Vanilla Cycle, uh, Legitimacy and Belief. And there is a third book coming. And these are uh, a little bit different in that they, one, they're a series. They're also very, very thick. But uh, they, uh, they are more hard science fiction. They take place in, in a populated solar system in about 100 years in the future. And, uh, but it's primarily the story of a, a young boy who has a robotic lemur as a as a childhood companion and friend, and grows up with him. But also, as he grows up, uh, begins to meet some very interesting and powerful people out in the out in the solar system. So, well, thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome. I thanks. love it that you write books you want to read. <laughs> we wish you the best. Well, thank you very much for having me. Yes. <laughs> wow, that was, that was fun. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't terrific. do this. <laughs> there it is. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.